Hi everyone, it's Mark again here. I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network and we're at 94,000 now across our five LinkedIn groups. I can't believe we were in the 30s and 40s earlier this year. Um, but this is the best bit of the job for me. It's where I get to meet our full members. So I'm delighted that Deborah Schull has joined me um, today from Ireland. Deborah, thank you so much for joining me to do this. Pleasure. <clears throat> Pleasure. Um, so what we, we, Deborah has just opened my eyes to a, a wonderful experience while motoring. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're you're producing um have you is it available already yet yeah yes one one audio guide is available brilliant so it's a i wrote to put the phrase down here it's a cultural audio guide for motorists and the idea as i understand it is that it's gps triggered and as you approach a a, a place of historic or cultural or heritage interest the app tells you starts giving you some information about it um i think it's genius it really is so what what areas have you have you started with deborah uh, we started with county clare on the wild atlantic way which goes the entire west coast of ireland and uh, so within clare we have 11 stops on the tour and uh, all in all we recorded 200 audio 200 hours of audio along the coast and we're 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 at various stages with the other six counties brilliant and this is something you could do all over the world isn't absolutely. it absolutely i'm i'm chomping at the bit to do that <laughs> i think it's i think it's genius um i i, I wish there was one for us around here because oh. as i mentioned when we were ch chatting earlier um, my children and I used to go brown signing, so we would just stop at, we would look for a brown sign, which in the UK is a, a place of interest, mm -hmm. um, cultural normally, and we would just at random go and, the first one we came to, we'd go and visit. Um, but I do love that. I, I love the idea of driving down the A30 in England, approaching Stonehenge and being told what's what's happening. I would lately. love to do a literary mobile tour for England. Oh wow, Strat Stratford upon Avon, yeah. Lots of authors. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. You're within. You're just. You're going to pass by the home of. I mean, I, I Frederick Delius, the composer, lives in Surrey in a in a uh -huh. village I used to live in. And it wouldn't it be great? Um, you know, you're driving along. If you, if you like Frederick Delius, the English composer, he's buried in the church that's coming up on the left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would. Go do it just be <laughs> yeah. Go and say hello and put some flowers on his <laughs> on his grave. So that is genius, I think. And I know that that's just only that's one of the things that you do. So, just for the benefit of our other members, um, I know you're you're a freelance writer. Um, what else? What else do you do? What else is on the on the on the desk at the moment? Well, I'm uh, I I'm doing travel writing. And um, script writing, I script um, audio guides. I Before I started this startup, I did audio guides in the States for museums and public spaces like botanical gardens and such. Um, and uh, did some documentary work. But currently um, I'm very interested in doing more travel writing and um, branching out into Europe. I'm, there's a there's this thing called the cultural roots of Europe. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it, but they're thematic cross-border roots, and they're they're just ideal for um, audio guides for motorists. Yeah. So I'm very much looking forward to collaborating with you know people in other countries who who could we could create these together. Um, yeah, somebody you should absolutely connect with is Alice Aubrey. She's mm -hmm. a good friend of our of, the, of our network. She's one of the founders of lovetovisit.com. Oh. Um and they've they've got a very great portal for like, travel and tourism. Um mm -hmm. and so I'll I'll make sure that I connect you with okay. Alice. Um excellent. Now that sounds great. So wherever this 
interview and our profile appears, there'll be um, links to various um, apps and websites and, and information about you. So thank you for that, Deborah. And I wish you all the best with it. So if, if you're watching this and this sounds of interest, then and you'd like it in your area, then get in touch with Deborah because I'm sure something could be could be worked out. Certainly if you're a part of a tourist board um, or or a highways agency, <laughs> you never yeah. know. You never know. Like That's brilliant. Me. Yeah. Excellent. And that's great. So we're going to have some fun now for the benefit of our, of our, um, our other members. I, we're going to play the Arts and Culture Hot Top 10. And this has changed recently. So I want to use these questions and answers to paint a picture of you for, for the benefit of our, our, our members based on your preferences in, across the arts and culture sector. There are no wrong answers. If you don't have a favourite, in, then perhaps one that comes to mind. And at the very least, just throw it at me and I'll answer answer it for you. So um, so the first question I'd like to know, Deborah, is do you have a favourite building? And if so, why? Um, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, I, is I there like, one on your... I like the flat is iron there one on the... New York City. The flat iron. Oh, yes. Okay. So... I want you to imagine that you're you've rented the top the, the the office at the sharp end of the flat iron at the top floor. So it's a rather triangle shaped office. So that's where we're going to put you because you love the building so much. So that's where you are. Now mm -hmm. you're sitting in a nice easy chair in your office in that flat in the flat iron. Okay. And on the table beside you is a book and it's your favorite book. What is it? <laughs> or recent discovery or one that comes to mind? I'm going to say, speaking of England or the UK, I'm going to say, this is from earlier in my life, Tess of the Durbervilles. Oh, nice. That's, I love that. That's brilliant. There have been some great TV and film mm -hmm. um, production, haven't there? Great. Okay. Now, so you're relaxing in your easy chair in your office at the pointy end of the flat iron. Um, and you've just been reading Tessa the D'Urbervilles. Um, there's also a drink on your side table. Um, what might that be? Let's gonna... say it's seven o'clock in the evening. Okay. I'm going to say Bailey's on ice. <gasps> oh, love it. I have a sweet tooth. This is this is already such a cultural setting. I love it, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you've been approached by a research institution in New York to visit another country for a year, all expenses paid, to study its approach to culture and report on it. And, and you can choose the country that you go to. So where might you choose? Italy. Italy. Mm -hmm. Great. So you're sitting there having read Tess um, and sipped at some Baileys and you're, you're, you've got packed up and you're ready to go. And you, what city would you like to be in when you arrive in Italy? Well, Rome would be okay because I know some people there. Great. Okay, I love Rome. It's like well, everything's in walking distance. It's, it's great. I love it. Um, now you're met by some friends um, that you have in Rome, and they've they they know that you have an interest in dance. So they in dance. So oh. they they've um or they want to give you an evening to enjoy some dance. So and you can have anything you like. It's in a the, an art center in Rome, it can be a favorite dancer, it can be a favorite dance group, or it might just be a favorite dance style. So they've said, what would you like? Because we're going to arrange it for you. Hmm. I would, I guess I'd say uh, modern dance. And some contemporary dance. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. 
that's great so I, I make building up this picture of you your perfect life you see um now one of the conditions of the research institute is that they want to study you while you're away they want to know what impact it has on you if you only listen to one type of music for the whole year oh. but you can choose what it is so right. what genre of music would you be prepared to listen to solely for a year if you had to i'm i'm biased so i'm gonna say traditional irish music brilliant love it so i can hear the fiddly diddlies going on already you know? <laughs> yeah so that's great so you're that's it you, you can't have anything else it's going to be traditional irish music so there you go you see you've been the baileys has, yeah. has mm -hmm. had its impact and the next day your friends say okay we're doing sport today so it, you can either take part or you can just watch um but there is a sports stadium down the road in rome and we've arranged for you to watch some sport you can have anything you like what would it be well it's definitely watch <laughs> and uh just watch a documentary on david beckham so i'm gonna say soccer excellent soccer and because this is a sort of fantasy environment you can have david beckham sitting beside you as well very good <laughs> and now the next day your friends have said okay we now need to do some visual art um we want to show you some wonderful art and they've there's a magic gallery in rome that can bring in at a moment's notice all of the the life's work of any artist so that you can browse around work your way through it's in age order which is fascinating i think so but you have to choose one visual artist or sculptor for that it doesn't have to be from italy no it can be anyone living or dead i'm gonna say rodin Ooh. so you're 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 wandering in and there there is the thinker yeah um beautifully lit up um and the kiss yeah um mm -hmm. love it that's great now you you've enjoyed that show um and your your friends are really making a fuss of you for your visit to rome and there is a magical theater in rome which can produce at a drop at the drop of a hat any play or musical and they've asked you to suggest one mm. I guess I would say uh, Carousel. Nice. What was the name of that wonderful gray-haired American actor? Oh, his name. I think he was in it. Right. Um, oh, it'll come. But yes, okay, you can have Carousel. Um, and... Then finally, in your induction week here, they, they're taking you to a magical cinema mm. where you can watch um, any movie you like, one that you'd like to introduce your friends to that you've loved for years. Um, and they say, well, okay, what movie would you like us to watch together? I know it. It's Local Hero. Mm. Probably my favorite movie. Uh, it was the guitarist Mark Knopfler wrote the theme music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful piece of music. Yeah. Um, so there you are. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's that's me painting a picture of you. We've gone from the flat iron to Rome. <laughs> um, we've had Tessa the D'Urbervilles. We've had Scotland. We've had, um, what else have we had? Traditional Irish music, soccer, Rodan exhibition, a production of Carousel and... Uh, watching local hero listening to Mark Knopfler so there was some surprises in there which was lovely so <laughs> that's great thank you very much for doing that um it's my way of introducing people and I think people do rather enjoy it it's great great fun now we're going to finish with a this or that game if that's okay, okay. um this again is to get under under the bonnet a bit um so I'm going to give you two things and you have to choose one or other okay it's fast-paced so instinctive answers. 
Are you ready? Yes. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Radio or television? Television. High heels or sneakers? Sneakers. Car or motorcycle? Car. Comedy or horror? That's a tough one. Uh, comedy. Concert hall or sports stadium? Concert hall. Cat or dog? Dog. Test the water or dive in at the deep end? Test. <laughs> <laughs> Orange juice, bits or no bits? No bits. A library or a museum? Library. Beethoven or Mozart? Beethoven. Shower or bath? Shower. <laughs> Cooking or being cooked for? Cooked for. Fiction or non-fiction? Fiction, I guess. Shopping online or shopping in store? In store. Reggae or salsa? Reggae. Indoors or outdoors? <laughs> That's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to say indoors right now. <laughs> um, Android or iPhone? iPhone. Start immediately or wait until the last minute? 50 50. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's say last minute. Yeah, I'm like that. Um, science or history? History. New York or Los Angeles? New York. White or black? Black. Circle or square? Circle. Early morning or earlier hours? Oh, um, early morning. Messy desk or tidy desk? Messy. Um, plan it or wing it? Wing it. Bedroom door, open or closed? Closed. <laughs> Toilet paper, over or under? Over. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies or vampires? Mm, vampires. Red or white wine? Red. Batman or Superman? Superman. Numbers or words? Words. <laughs> Rare or well done? Well done. Basketball or baseball? Baseball. Mild or spicy? Spicy. Opera or chamber music? That's a tough one. Chamber music. Whiskey or rum? Mm, I don't know enough about either, but I'll say uh, whiskey. Stripes or spots? Stripes. Gold or silver? Silver. Mountains or beaches? Mountains. Sweet or savoury snacks? Sweet. Travelling or staying at home? Travelling. Abstract or realistic art? Realistic. Jazz or classical music? That's a tough one. Well, I'll say classical. And finally, where's it gone? Up here. See the future or change the past? Change the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much, Deborah. I hope that wasn't too painful. Um, it's. I should probably get these analysed by a psychoanalyst, shouldn't You're I? You're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Was that okay? Yes, it's fine. That's brilliant. Yeah um don't run off but for the time being um thank you so much for for joining me and doing this thank um, you. and i'll we'll get it published and promoted as as quickly as we can okay thanks mark <laughs>